In this lab, it's the impact jet. We're going to be using uh, this apparatus. All right, this is the 45 degree uh, impact. You'll want to turn it and get it to where it's snug. I, once again, this does not need to be extremely tight. Also, before I put the top on, right here is the nozzle. This just unscrews like the, other, like the, uh, like the tips do. You want to make sure that you got the, the five millimeter tip on to begin with. Once you have the tip on, you'll just make sure to reinstall the, the cap. Make sure to put the thumb screws back on it. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take the weight hanger and put it on the top. You can see it slowly comes down. What you want to do is you want to get the distance between the nozzle and the stop and we're going to add weight until we're about at the halfway point. So with nothing on it right now, we're going to add some weights, get it about at the halfway point, and then make sure to line the flag up to where the center of the notch is about at the center of the, uh, of the holder. Okay. What we're going to do now is you'll want to make sure, again, to measure the distance between the nozzle and the stop. Uh, and the platform actually to, uh, to see what it is. What we'll do next is we'll turn the water on. <coughs> right here we've got the emergency stop, which is this button right here. Uh, what you're going to do is you'll pull it out with the twist and it actually starts the pump. You'll see that the light comes on. This is your control valve and when you open it up you'll see the flow start coming in. And we're going to try and get it up, raised up to the highest level that we can where it's still readable. And as, what I mean by readable is that it, it's not pushed up to the point where it bottoms out, where it still has some, some bounce to it. And as you can see right here, we're basically leveled out because it's, the water is not able to push it up any higher. We've got our weight, which is 300 grams, and then we've got our flow reading right here. Next thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to add weight to get it back down to our initial starting position. And as you can see, this is a little bit more weight than what needs to be. And then you'll want to record with that, with that weight what the, what the flow rate is. So we can take the weight, our flow rate, and our distance, and then we'll be able to calculate from there. After doing this, what you're going to do is you're going to switch between different, different nozzles. You have the 5 millimeter and then you'll have an 8 millimeter. And you're also going to switch between the different impacts. So right now there is a 45 impact on there. This is the flat impact and this is the concave. You'll be able to go back through and make sure that for each each test that you're recording the height difference and the amount of flow rate and uh, you'll do it with both the five millimeter on each one of the three settings. You'll also switch to the eight millimeter nozzle which is right here which is the larger nozzle and be uh, able to do the same test back over again and record all of your results.